Diego, the tortoise. First, a story about a tree. Now, a story about an old tortoise that's actually a top G. But all jokes aside, it's an inspiring story that you need to hear. Let's not waste any more time. The story goes like this. Diego the tortoise was born in the early 20th century on the Galapagos Islands and was taken to the San Diego Zoo in the 1930s. In the 1960s, it was discovered that Diego's species, the Hasbul, you got this one? Chelonoides hudensis. Appreciate you. Was on the brink of extinction with only a few individuals remaining. The 1960s, that's almost close to the 70s, which is almost the percent of people who watch my videos but aren't subscribed. What the f***? Well, go on then. Subscribe! With only two males and 12 females of this kind of tortoise remaining, in an attempt to save the species, Diego was sent back to the Galapagos Islands, where he was placed in a breeding program. They had to go retrieve Diego from San Diego. That's... That, did you catch that? Those are bars right there. Over the course of several decades, Diego became a prolific breeder and is estimated to have fathered over 900 offspring. 900. Man. Jesus. Beast. His efforts helped to increase the population of the Chelonoides hudensis. Thank you. And bring the species back from almost becoming extinct. He straight up clutched it. He straight up clutched it for his own kind. Elon, you would love this guy. That's like LeBron coming back down 3 to 1 to arguably the best team ever. Golden State. Or during the 2008 Olympics, where Jason Lezak recorded the best split ever in the 400 freestyle relay against France. And if you don't know how clutch that is, let me tell you, it's pretty f***ing clutch. Helping Michael Phelps stay on track to win his eight gold medals that he ended up winning. Legend. When it comes down to it, this man Diego is a hero, an avenger. Today, Diego continues to live on the Galapagos Islands, big chillin', where he is monitored by conservationists and is a popular attraction for visitors. And you know he's still popular around the ladies. So I think it's safe to say Diego finally gets to experience that retired lifestyle now that his species has reached number over 2,000. I took three things away from this story. Hear me out, hear me out. One, be persistent. Two, believe in yourself. And three, rise to the occasion. Just like Diego, who persevered in his quest to save his species, you can apply persistence to your own life. Whether it's working towards a personal goal or overcoming a challenge, staying focused and persistent can help you achieve your aspirations. Believe in yourself. Diego never gave up on his mission despite all the odds. By believing in yourself and your abilities, you can overcome obstacles and succeed in your own endeavors. And honestly, most importantly, rise to the occasion. When called upon, Diego went above and beyond the call of duty. Now, I know this is a, this is a tortoise we're talking about, but is it or is it a top G? <laughs> it's, a to it's a tortoise, it's, it's a tortoise. But no, for real, a coal under pressure creates a diamond. By applying these lessons from Diego's story to your own life, you can be more persistent, positive, confident, and effective in pursuing your goals and living a fulfilling life. Listen, if you've made it to the end, I appreciate you. All that's left to do is tap that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications because we got more coming soon. Roll the outro. Yo, you got an app?